Guys, you're gonna have to bear with me today. I'm having one of those days. You wake up sometimes and you have those days where nothing's going your way. Winning approximately zero games, getting your ass kicked every time. The bulb in your lamp goes and you don't have any spare bulbs. So you have to replace the lamp altogether. Fuck today, seriously. I think I'm on like a seven or eight losing streak in this game right now. I just can't win any games. I've won one game today. And honestly, that doesn't even count because the guy disconnected. So yeah, it's not, it's not been a good day. And then to make matters worse, I come on Heroes to spend my 2,000 gems only to find that PopCap have been up to some scumbag shit. So the whole idea of today's video was I was going to do a pack opening. I mentioned it a few days ago and a lot of you guys said you wanted to see one. So I thought, okay, I'll save up 2,000 gems. I'll do the premium multi-pack where you get 23 packs, get a good amount of cards, you're guaranteed a legend as well. That'll make for a decent video. So they stopped that deal, like yesterday, and now all of a sudden it's back except there's a problem. You can't buy it with gems anymore. You have to pay for it with money. Might not look like much. Some people are probably slightly confused, wondering, oh, why have they changed this? Why couldn't you just carry on doing it with gems? I know exactly what this is. You see, 2,000 gems for a premium multi-pack was, you know, if you've got the patience to save up the gems, then you can get this. And then PopCap have just turned around and gone, hmm, slight problem with that. You could do that if you've got the patience. You could save up those gems, but then when you do that, you're not giving us any of that. So I've got an idea, how about we change it so that you can't buy it with gems and you have to pay for it. But it's not all bad, we can still get the premium packs at least. I'm staggered that we can even get them. And I mean, it's not the end of the world because the difference between getting the premium packs and the premium multi-packs is one pack. If I was to do two loads of the premium packs and get 22, the premium multi-packs and get 23. But then I'm guaranteed a legend in the multi-packs. So we're gonna go for the premium pack thousand gem bundle. We're gonna get it twice. Obviously I did save up 2000 gems just to get the multi-packs and now I can't do it. And I'm not paying 16 quid for it. You can suck my left one. So we're gonna get two of these and I suppose it kind of splits it up quite well because usually when you buy packs in this game, it opens all of them at once. I think you should be able to choose whether you open them all at once or whether you're doing one at a time. We get two rounds of this and I'm not gonna be playing a game today. This is gonna be kind of an experimental video. You guys can let me know what you think of it. I'm going to open these two packs or these two rounds of packs and then I'm going to see if I can actually put together a half decent deck and then next video we'll try it out. All right so let's jump into the first one. So we're getting 11 packs here. There should be a decent amount of cards. I'm yet to actually get another hero from a pack so it'd be interesting if we can pull another hero. So here we go. So all we can do here is open it up, sit back and watch to see what we get. So we're starting with the uncommons. Okay. Nothing breathtaking at the moment. Okay. There is some decent stuff in here, not gonna lie. Got some foot soldiers, they're decent. Alright. Some rares. Looking okay, I recognise a couple of them. Oh, another wizard. Two wizard gargantuas. I actually use them, so that's not bad. Super rare. Oh, another pine clone. That's perfect. Good. I wanted another one of them. Awesome. Right. Okay. Got a Yeti. Another one of them. I used that trick. That's the one that lets you play a zombie as a trick. Oh, we got the Valkyrie as well. And we got a legend. Oh! <laughs> what? May! No, man. We did not just pull. Two Colonel Corns from that pack. This is another update they added, and this is actually kind of cool. I don't understand it fully, but I think what they've done is like created a load of sample decks, just in case you're like struggling to make one yourself. And then this is showing how many cards you have towards being able to use that exact deck. Mate, Colonel Corn, that's the card I've been looking for. Do four damage to each zombie. Dude, that's insane. I can't believe I just got two of them as well. Fucking one would have been brilliant. I just got two of them. That's insane. I have to try out some of these decks. I tell you what, I'm absolutely useless when it comes to making decks, so this will help me out. All right, we'll collect that. Yeah, we'll tell you what, that was a brilliant first pack. Or first set of packs, whatever you want to say. Let's jump into the second one. Well, I'll tell you what, two Colonel Corns in the first one. Imagine if it gets even better. It can't really get better than that. Colonel Corn is the one legend that I've been on the lookout for. Here we go. Pack number two. Okay. Not expecting much out of these. These are just the uncommons. Gonna get a lot of duplicates out of this, which of course you can trade in for, I think it's Spark they call it, which you can use to craft other cards. That's how I got Cornucopia. Just binned a load of duplicates and a few super rares. And maybe a couple of legends. <laughs> Another Wizard Garg. Okay. I think that's a Weed Spray, it's a Walrus. 
Another pine clone. Yes, look at this. This is brilliant. I'm getting all the stuff that I need. Brainana, that's a good card. That's the one I got from the Petal Morphosis. That's good. That's the, uh, the Lazy King, the Zombie King. Another legend it is... That's the Dandelion King. We're getting another one. Another Trickster. And a hero. Oh, look at the Citron. Okay. So we got another Trickster. I actually did have two of these. He was one of the cards that I recycled to help me pay for Cornucopia. Because I had one anyway. So uh, now I've got two again. He is a good card though. I really like him. And we got this guy as well. The Dandelion King. When played, damage the zombie hero for half their health. Mate, that's not bad. I can use that in Solar Flare. I can use both of them in Solar I can use Dandelion King and I can use Kernel Corn in Solar Flare. That's perfect. Brainana, this was the card that we got with the Petal Morphosis called Loses All Their Brains. That's good. That's really good. Have a look at Citron. So what's Citron? He is... That's defensive and that one's smarty. Okay. Plants can't be hurt this turn. Draw a card. That's decent. That's Appeal Shield. That's a good one. Make a six health Walnut with Team Up and draw a card. That's not bad. Plant gets plus two health and can't be hurt this turn. That's decent as well. That's not bad. Transform a zombie into a random zombie that costs two brains or less. That could be good late game, I suppose. So let's try having a look at some of these. Like, let's look at this. Cards to find. Oh, so it tells you which cards you actually need to complete the deck. Ah, I get it. End of turn. Transform another random zombie into a 5-5 Knight of the Living Dead with armored two. That's good. What's this? A Snapdragon? Yep. Oh, a splash damage. Wow. Okay, that's all right. I'll take a splash damage character any day. So, wow, man. I'll tell you what. Good results, I think. And you know what? Since we've got 180 gems, we'll open up one more. One more premium pack. Just to see if we can get something else. Let's see. Another Sage. I'm pretty sure I've got loads of duplicates of them to get rid of. Got a super rare. Oh, it's another Portal Technician. All right. Okay, that's not bad. Portal Technician is a very good card, and I've only got one, so I could always do with another one. Recycle extras. Yeah, I get, see, I get a thousand spark just for getting rid of my duplicates. There you go. So we could potentially even craft something else. I'm pretty sure for a thousand spark, we could craft a super rare. Any super rare that we want. Well, I probably won't get around to making a deck now. I think it's going to take me a lot longer to actually sit down and suss all of this out. We got some insane cards though, for sure. I'll tell you what, guys, you can help me out here. If you have any good ideas for decks that I can make with some of these cards that I just picked up, leave it down in the comments. And also maybe give me some ideas as to what I could actually use this spark for. I can make any super rare that I want. I don't know, which one should I make? Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, this was kind of an experimental thing. But if you want to see more pack openings like this in the future, then leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. Subscribe if you're new to the Wolf Pack. And that's going to be it from me, guys. Thanks as always for watching. Have a good one. And I'll catch you next time. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse, it actually got better. Back from the dead.